Hey, this is Galen at ECU Master USA. Today we're going to talk about our four bar map sensor. With each of our sensor kits, you're going to get the sensor that you ordered, the connector, seals, terminals, and thread sealant. And you'll also find on the front of each package the QR code that'll link you directly to any pertinent sensor information you might need. The first thing you'll notice on the back of this package is that the pinout for the sensors is actually the same. Pin one being your sensor ground, Pin 2, the 5 volt supply to the sensor. And pin 3 is the sensor signal that goes to the analog input of your EMU. Next, the tools we're going to use for this are a pair of flush cuts, wire strippers, and a high quality crimp frame designed for the terminals you're working with. There's going to be a link in the description for all of these tools so you can use exactly the same stuff we're using. Let's start by taking our flush cuts and derailing the terminals from the metal strip that they're attached to. I'm going to take the flush side towards the terminal, snip, and repeat. Now we include an extra in all of these kits in case a, a mistake happens, and trust me, they happen. So hopefully we'll only need these three that I'm using right now. For the wire color, we use blue for our five volt reference. We're going to use white for sensor signal that goes to the analog input of the EMU. And then we're going to use black for sensor ground. So before we strip these wires, we're going to take the weather seals and put the wires through so that we don't have copper strands stabbing us in the fingers as we work later. This prevents fraying at the end of the copper. And also make sure that you do it before you terminate the wire into the terminal itself. It is a real pain in the neck to have to redo stuff after uh, you've already crimped the terminal onto the wire. Next, we're going to grab our strip tool. And I want to show you guys the strip length here is set to the minimum value on the stripper uh, to allow for consistent exposed copper at the end of each of these wires. One. Let's take our crimp frame and load a terminal in and get it ready to crimp the deconductor into. You'll notice that this crimp frame has an automatic positioner here with a gate that's spring loaded. So as you insert the terminal, you push on the gate, opens the gate, closes on the terminal, and now it's positively located inside of the crimp frame so it can't rotate around or give you any funny business as you go to crimp this on. We're going to slide the conductor all the way forward, leaving the copper exposed. We're going to insert and then crimp slowly. There you go. Successfully terminated a wire into this GT150. Let's take our package and look at the back side for our sensor pinout. So we'll start with position one, which is our sensor ground. That is this hole here. Insert the terminal in until it clicks. Nice positive location there. Next we'll go to pin assignment two, which is our five volt supply to the sensor. And again, and last but not least is our sensor output, or sensor signal. That goes to the analog input of our EMU device. So now that you have these clipped in and they're locked, you're going to take this gray tab and press it till it closes. And now the tabs cannot come up. And that's how you wire the three position sensor. So now that we have our four bar map sensor wired into our EMU Black, let's go into our EMU Black client software and make sure that we have this configured correctly to operate with our sensor. We're going to start by going into the configuration panel and switching the displayed units from Imperial to metric. Our sensors are advertised in metric readings, so we're going to set them up as metric sensors to make the scaling one-to-one. -one. Next, we're going to go into sensor setup. We're going to go into the map and barrow window. Go into parameters, deselect, use built-in map. Next, go into your map calibration. Let's open this up a little bit for you guys. 
and we're gonna set the x-axis bins wizard. So you're gonna right click over the voltage and you're gonna set the value at 4.5 is outlined for the maximum on the back of the package. You're gonna set the minimum at zero and you're gonna make sure that interpolation type is set to linear interpolation. Wrong. It's 0.5 to 4.5. What did I say, zero? That's what I did. Cool, great, hot, redo. Uh, how far did I get? You know what? Um, go back in, change the voltage to something weird. Uh, point three, four point six. That's fine, okay. Now, I remember exactly where you were. When I fucked up. Nope, when you started the process of fucking is important so you were right here and that's where you made your right click cool geez <laughs> we're gonna right click over the voltage here in the x-axis and select our x-axis bins wizard and now we'll set the minimum and maximum values for the sensor you can refer to the back of your package to see what those values are and for this case it is going to be 0.5 volts for the minimum and 4.5 volts for the maximum value. And you're gonna set the interpolation type to linear interpolation. Select okay to make these changes. And you'll see that we have different values now at the bottom. Uh, so we're gonna start with the minimum value, which will be zero at half volt. And for the maximum, because that's a four bar map sensor, we're gonna input 400 kPa or kilopascal. You're gonna highlight those values and interpolate horizontally. And now you have a linear scale from zero to 400 kPa over half a volt to four and a half volts. Next, you're gonna to go to this icon here to make these changes permanent and select. And this will be properly calibrated to operate in your EMU black. So now that we've configured our software for your four bar map sensor, let's go and verify that it's working. We're gonna go ahead and connect to our EMU black device. And you'll see here, this is indicated by this icon. It's lit up in green and also says connected here. Move this out of the way. And we'll go ahead and open our graph log. See we have map and the analog voltage. And look at our analog inputs to watch what changes once we plug the sensor in. You'll see that we have a difference here in the map as it's plugged in. And you'll also see the difference here in the analog voltage reference. Here in Dallas, this is the atmospheric pressure that we see, about 91 kPa. And depending on where you are in the country, this value is going to differ. Now that we finished verifying that the sensor is working, take a look at your EMU first start checklist to finish setting up your EMU device for your project. Thanks for watching. See you next time.